Right, what is going on guys? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get full manual control of video on the Nikon D3100. Now, someone sent me a pre-release version of this firmware, and it's going to be coming up very, very soon for public use, and I thought I'd show you exactly what it does. Now, it's basically a custom firmware for the D3100, and it simply enables the control of shutter and ISO in video mode. Which is fantastic, I've been waiting for that for ages. So right now I have the 18 to 55 kit lens at 18 millimeters for a nice wide field of view. It's using 800 ISO, f3.5 and a 50th shutter. So in this video I'm going to show you how it all works and how to get it when it finally releases. So before I show you the results of this fantastic custom firmware, I'll show you where to get it. Now this very day I post the video, it will not be on but it will be very very soon. So go to the link in the description, the Simon Pilgrim page, where he has the uh, the firmware patch tool online, and very, very soon there will be the option there to tick the manual video control. So go and check that out, see if it's there, if it is, download it, follow the instructions, enjoy. Okay, so we've got the camera here set up next to the window, and we've got 135mm f2.8 lens on it. We're going to simply turn it on and get it into live view. Now this camera's already got the custom firmware on and um, we're going to set the shutter speed and ISO to get the exposure right outside. Now notice I finally realised that with this kind of bright day I cannot use any aperture really below f11. It's quite, it's quite eye opening to see what kind of light you're dealing with finally when you get manual video. So in this situation I should ideally be using an ND filter but I don't have one for this lens at the moment. And uh, I apologise if it's a bit uh, jerky, it's quite hard to hold my phone and uh, set everything at the same time. One thing to note is that you cannot adjust the ISO while recording, only um, while you, you're not recording. Um, but you can adjust the shutter speed while you're recording, which is really nice, that's the kind of primary way of adjusting exposure on a, an electronic lens. Okay, so now we're going to ditch the 135mm lens and stick on the 18 to 55 and we're going to just leave it on 18 because that's where I most use that lens because it's nice and wide. Now I don't normally use electronic lenses, I, I much prefer the manual ones and it's probably the biggest reason why I love this firmware so much is because I can use manual lenses and get perfect exposure manually. Uh, because they're, they're not chipped obviously. So uh, that's where the firmware really comes into its own from my kind of work. So it's exactly the same story with electronic lenses as well. You just stick them on and you, you get to use a light meter this time to help you. But the same kind of situation apart from here I have to choose the aperture uh, out of live view because that's the way Nikon likes to use their DSLRs. So I managed to get a great exposure out the window and really really nice results. It's, it looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see here, I mean, I have to use f13, which is <laughs> its kind of crazy. I mean, I, you'd never really choose that aperture if you never had manual video, because you wouldn't have any indication that that's the kind of aperture you'd have to stop down to in this bright condition. So it's really nice. Okay, so here we're just going to do some ISO tests, and we're going to go from 400, 800, this is 1600, and 3200. Now for some reason when I went to the high one option, which is 6400, and then I clicked record, and it just suddenly dropped what seemed to be 3200 ISO again, so I'm not too sure if this is capable right now of 6400 ISO video, so get back to me on that one. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed this video, and first off, I'd like to thank the guy who sent me this firmware, I'm very, very pleased with it, and I hope that he gets up on the site as soon as possible. Oh,